Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for the gift of life and for love and grace and truth. We thank you for creating a wonderful world and calling it good and inviting humans to partner with you in providing for the health and wholeness of the land and people and all of creation. We pray that the earth may be restored and healthy, that the air and soil and waters cleansed of poison so that all might be in harmony. We give you thanks for the church and for community in which we find support and guidance and direction. We pray today for those who need help and don't know where to turn and for those who want to help and don't know how. We pray for those who struggle under heavy debt loads. Forgive us our debts as we forgive the debts of others. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are hospitalized and on ventilators, for those who are on the front lines of offering medical care. We pray for scientists working to understand and work for vaccines and effective medications. We pray for those who are isolated and those who are anxious. We pray for business owners who are having to make difficult decisions. We pray that you will strengthen this nation and our state to pursue just priorities, that long-standing injustices might be addressed, that the young might be educated and the old cared for, the hungry fed, the homeless housed, and the sick comforted and healed. God of compassion, hear our prayers for the world you love. Help us to be agents of your compassion in this time and in this world. Help us to follow in your ways with courage and grace that we might be bold and faithful. May we show grace, offer forgiveness, help find new beginnings for us, for the ones we love and for others. And we join our prayers to those offered around the world as we say together a powerful prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Peace be with you.